welcome everyone and friends <laughs> we're going to do captain america today we're going to first start with half a c and upside down c so watch how i'm doing on the top half of the page now we're going to make vertical lines but slightly slanting very slight slant Okay, from one end to the other end, I make a flat U. So slant line, one slant line downwards and same thing we're going to repeat on that side, one slant line downwards. Make parallel to this line a straight line and a straight line on both sides. And then we're going to match it back in. So a slant line again towards the face and a slant line towards the face again. So we're going to go a slant line, another slant line. Make an upside down V. So we're going to make it, but it's going to be a shorter line and a shorter line. So we're going to make straight line. And then on the other side also a slight straight line same thing on this uh, this side of the mask for the other eye we're going to make those straight lines short straight lines and now we're going to curve them inwards on both sides curve them inwards and now we're going to join these two points so make a horizontal line to join those so we're going to draw his eyebrows so watch how i make so parallel to this slant line he's being angry yes we're going to do another slant line inside <laughs> and another slant line on the other side for his other eye now we're going to draw his eye eyeballs and they're going to be slightly oval in shape we're going to make and you can color them in Once we finish his eye, we are going to complete his mask. So watch how my lines curve. They are going to make flatter use again. So underneath his eye, just very slight underneath, we are going to go a U closer to his eye. Very flat U. And then we are going to do a tiny mountain, a curve, upside down C in between his eye. And then we're going to go right across on the other side and finish his mask off with a curve. Now over his mask on the left hand side eye, we're going to make a line for his for shaping his mask. So we're going to go a slant line on both sides, a slant line and make sure it matches up to this point here. And now we're going to join it with a vertical line down. All the way connecting to his eye. We're going to make an upside down curve again. So we're going to make a short line under his mask and a short line, vertical line going downwards. And we're going to probably extend that all the way to his jaw. Under his nose and his lips, we're going to make another upside down U or a mountain. So watch how that shape goes. And now from starting from this mountain, you're going to join it up here. So follow the shape of his face and same thing on this side, follow the shape of his face. One more thing that's missing is the A on Captain America. So we're going to draw right an A in the center of his mask, a horizontal line in the center of his mask, then two slant lines on either side. and then horizontal lines going inwards. Then again follow slant line, two short slant lines inwards and they go upward. And then join those two points. That's the outline of your A. Now we're going to make a small tiny triangle. 
so this looks more like an A so two slant lines following the shape of your A and then a horizontal line and then color it in so that's your letter A for Captain America and on either side of his helmet or mask we're going to make his, horn. his horns or his there, are, there is a design there so it's going to follow this same slant line but another slant line inwards on both sides it's slightly tricky it's going to be another straight line in and then join this line in a slant now we're going to repeat the same shape again inside it's following the same shape that you've just done. So slant, straight, and then slant. One line, and one more line joining. And then same on the other side. One line, and one more line joining. So below, we're gonna start with, first we're gonna do the inside of his bodies and then going to do his arm. So make, it's gonna be slightly flatter. So make a curve, and a curve on either side. And then a straight line and then a straight line and then a curve outwards and then in the center of his under his chin in the center of the page we're going to make a horizontal line and then slant two slant lines like a a like we did for the A. Yeah, and then we're going to make curve. We're going to make it curved outside to make his shoe. So we finished his body. Now we're going to draw his shoe. So horizontal line and horizontal line. And then one more horizontal line and another horizontal line. So it's protecting. And we're going to make another horizontal line and then curve it downwards on both sides. Horizontal line and curve it downwards. And the other detail we're going to add to his shoe is between those two lines, we're going to make a vertical line on either side closer to his leg and make a line in between that. If you don't have space, that's okay. You can color it black. So we've done his shoes. shoes. We're gonna make one curve on this side and one curve on this side. One curve on this side, one on this Make a straight line downwards. Make a straight line downwards. And one more straight line. So on either side, you have straight lines. And watch how I curve this. So we curve it slightly inwards and then you do a horizontal line going back to his end of his body. And we're going to make a pocket. So make a inverted C on both these pockets and make a dot for his button. Now we're going to make his belt. So we're going to have two horizontal lines going across. And then in the center of his belt, it's going to be a straight line on either side. And then we're just going to make a small square for his belt. Good job. I'm going to go across his body all the way to the pouch that we made. So a slant line and then one more because it's a belt. So we're going to make it thicker. One more line. And then try and make the star so watch how you make this star a horizontal line coming out towards from the belt coming out and then make a triangle slant line and a triangle and then again a horizontal line and then again bring it back in as a triangle and then take it back down to make the shape of a star and now because we can't see the whole star, we're going to make a tiny triangle below. So we finished the star. So his shirt looks slightly different. So we're going to make one slant line 
across his body on from top to bottom to the belt and we're going to do the same thing here we're going to make two slant lines going towards the belt and then one more slant line more slant line and then we're going to finish it off all the way down it's going to go all the way down it's going to have two horizontal lines so that's one part of his belt now the other one also same thing it flows in and it goes a slant line same on the other side and a slant line and we're going to do two horizontal lines and then we're going to finish it off with one horizontal line underneath the star and then one horizontal line here and one horizontal line here so now we're going to finish his arm so on the outside of his body we're going to make another slant line and it's going to go go we're going to try and make his fingers so of his glove so make another u and then we're going to have two horizontal lines for his glove and one more horizontal line and then a vertical line there and then join it with a line again inside that's his glove that he's wearing which is going to be brown in color same thing on the other side we're going to make a similar shape so we're going to go only halfway through we're not going to do his full arm because we have to make his shield. shield so now watch a vertical line straight all the way slightly above his shoe touching his hand and then make a D but a D that goes the other way and we're going to draw going to draw one flat line for his shield and we're going to make a semicircle in there in we're going to finish off his hand and make sure that you match the curve here we go a curve up and we're going to make his fingers on his glove so make a u up facing up upwards u then same thing two horizontal lines close to each other one more horizontal line and then join it in between and then make another line in to join it so we finished making captain america and now we are going to start coloring him in That's for you.